Good morning, friends, and welcome to Morning Prayer for the 8th of November. My name is Jess, and I am an Army Chaplain posted to the Royal Military College, Duntroon. As I join you today, I acknowledge the elders of the Ngunnawal people on whose land I live and work. Throughout this week, we mark the anniversary of the Armistice in our Remembrance Day commemorations, and which is reflected in our readings and intercessions today. So let us pray. God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I will sing a new hymn to my God. O Lord, you are great and marvellous. You are marvellous in your strength, invincible. Let the whole creation serve you, for you spoke and all things came to be. You sent out your spirit, and it formed them. No one can resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who revere you, you still show mercy. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 46. Uh, which you'll find on page 269 of your prayer book. Psalm 46 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth be moved. And though the mountains are shaken in the midst of the sea, Though the waters rage and foam, and though the mountains quake at the rising of the sea, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy dwelling place of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, therefore she shall not be moved. God will help her, and at break of day. The nations make uproar and the kingdoms are shaken. But God has lifted his voice and the earth shall tremble. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come then and see what the Lord has done, what destruction he has brought upon the earth. He makes wars to cease in all the world. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear and burns the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted upon the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Create a spirit, advocate promised by our Lord Jesus. Increase our faith and help us to walk in the light of your presence. To the glory of God the Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our first reading this morning comes from the second book of Samuel. David said, The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my saviour, you saved me from violence. I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised and I am saved from my enemies. For the waves of death encompassed me, the torrents of perdition assailed me. The cords of Sheol entangled me. The snares of death confronted me. 
In my distress I called upon the Lord. To my God I called. From his temple he heard my voice, and my cry came to his ears. Then the earth reeled and rocked, the foundations of the heavens trembled and quaked, because he was angry. Smoke went up from his nostrils, and devouring fire from his mouth, glowing coals flamed forth from him. He bowed the heavens and came down. Thick darkness was under his feet. He rode on a cherub and flew. He was seen upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness around him a canopy, thick clouds, a gathering of water. Out of the brightness before him coals of fire flamed forth. The Lord thundered from heaven, the Most High uttered his voice. He sent out arrows and scattered them, lightning and routed them. Then the channels of the sea were seen, the foundations of the world were laid bare at the rebuke of the Lord, at the blast of the breath of his nostrils. He reached from on high. He took me. He drew me out of mighty waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They came upon me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me out into a broad place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Our second reading this morning is from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 15. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from the Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day, you will say, give thanks to the Lord Call upon his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 
O God, our ruler and guide, in whose hands are the destinies of this and every nation. We give you thanks for the freedoms we enjoy in this land and for those who laid down their lives to defend them. We pray that we and all the people of Australia, gratefully remembering their courage and their sacrifice, may have grace to live in a spirit of justice, of generosity and of peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A prayer for the Defence Force. Merciful God, fill our hearts with the graces of the Holy Spirit, with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Teach us to love our enemies, that we may be the children of our Father, who makes the sun shine on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the just and the unjust. In adversity, grant us grace to be patient. In prosperity, keep us humble. May we speak with carefulness and dignity, lightly regarding the pleasures of this world, and hunger instead only for heavenly things. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, we pray for places of conflict throughout the world, holding before you especially those who live in fear and in uncertainty because they have worked alongside us. We pray for those people whose desperate circumstances persist long after our news cycle. And we pray for those whose stories we will never hear. In the face of their suffering, kindle in us perseverance, hope, and a tireless commitment to a just and sustainable peace. We pray for our leaders, that they may know your wisdom in their decision-making, integrity in their leadership, and discernment in our path ahead. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who carry mental and physical scars of battle, who do grow old and are wearied by age. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we also remember them. We pray too for those who at home and abroad have paid for their service with their life. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and may light perpetual shine upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of love and liberty, we bring our thanks today for the peace and security we enjoy. We remember those who in time of war faithfully served their country. We pray for their families and for ourselves, whose freedom was won at such a cost. Make us a people zealous for peace and hasten that day when nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither learn war any more. This we pray in the name of the one who gave his life for the sake of the world, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created, and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service, and live this day in love to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but a spirit of power, and of love, and of self-discipline. May we rekindle the gift of God within us. Amen. Friends, thank you uh, for joining me and allowing me to join you for morning prayer today. Uh, I pray that whatever your week ahead holds, you know yourself surrounded by the grace and mercy of God. Go in peace. Amen. <laughs>